Hello friends and fans of EVGA and today I'm going to be showing you how to enable the XMP profile for your memory uh, on your system. Now this will be done in an EVGA system with an EVGA motherboard um, but I'm going to try to keep this as general as possible so that it does work on basically any configuration that you would have. So we're going to start out here in Windows itself because that's probably where you're going to start uh, and the easiest way I find to get to the BIOS uh, of your motherboard is by right clicking on the start button going to the restart option and then hold down the shift key that's key click the restart uh, just keep the finger down and then you'll notice that you go to the troubleshoot menu here in windows click on troubleshoot advanced options and then uefi firmware settings uh, the uefi firmware is another way of saying your motherboard bios so if you tell it to restart it will then go straight into the BIOS. And now we are on the main screen of our BIOS here for our motherboard. Um, in many motherboards, it's going to be under the advanced option for your memory settings, but we have a special setting here uh, in a tab just for memory. Uh, to enable XMP, it's very easy. By default, your memory is probably running uh, at the automatic mode, um, but it will show you if it sees that there's one or two XMP profiles on your memory. Um, the way the XMP works is it's very uh, specific settings that your memory is designed to run at um, that is higher than standard, um, higher than the standard chipset speed for your processor uh, to run its memory at. Uh, it's got special timings, special voltages, and all of that information is stored on a special chip uh, that is on your memory stick. So if you have XMP, it's a good idea to use it. Um, so instead of setting our profile here as automatic, we want to set it as XMP profile 1. Uh, again, uh, this memory doesn't have an XMP profile 2, but some memory will have more than one XMP profile. Um, perhaps one with higher clock speeds and then another one with lower clock speeds but tighter timings. So uh, we're going to go with our first profile, and then there's really nothing else that we need to change. You can still tweak and tune those settings if there's other timings that you want to adjust. Um, you do have that option, um, but we can leave those all as auto and it will follow the settings saved on the memory. So once you do that, you go to save changes and reset. The motherboard may turn off for a second as it's enabling different settings for your memory. That's perfectly normal. Uh, and then once it boots into Windows, uh, you can then go into any utility like CPU-Z, ADA64, and uh, see what your memory is running at, and you should see that the memory speed has changed. Uh, so hopefully that's been a helpful little guide uh, to show you how to enable the XMP profile on the memory of your system. Uh, that'll help you get a little bit extra performance, uh, make sure that your system is running at its absolute best. Um, there are some cases where you may not want to run XMP and you want to manually overclock your memory yourself, um, but we can try to cover that in a different video. Um, but for now, hopefully that helps you get a little bit more performance out of your gaming system. Uh, stay tuned to this channel, uh, hit that like button, and uh, hit the bell icon if you're subscribed so that you get notified when we make new uploads. And uh, we hope you join us for some future how-to videos on EVGA products.